Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday to you dudes. We have to talk about the Summer Heat Voting SBC that is coming out today, either between St. Maximin and Usman Dembele. Who is gonna win? I'll offer my thoughts, offer the price on the SBCs and what other market movements you're gonna see. The market's already going down in preparation for this SBC and because of the Ribery SBC that came out uh yesterday on fifa as well so i'm going to talk about all that today why prices are dropping can you invest in some sbc fodder and are there some other cards that are maybe like flying under the radar as a possible investment as well as prices are dropping across the board i want to talk about that and also go over the content that we saw yesterday on friday all inside of this video we're going to do it all in this video also talk about batch two and the, the price movements on some of those cards today as well but i want to talk about the sbcs that are coming today first because um, it's going to be big. It's going to be big today. This is a very anticip anticipated day in FIFA Ultimate Team. St. Maximin getting a striker card today if he wins. Usman Dembele getting a center attacking mid card today if he wins. And I feel like that's some information a lot of people are also forgetting and missing out on right now is that it is a position change. So the cards that you voted on, the Usman and the St. Max and the Moynier, did not have the position change on those voting cards, the loans. But the SBC that comes out today will be a position change. Uh, will they upgrade St. Max's weak foot if he wins? I hope so, because they're going to put him into a striker card. Um, and obviously, they can't upgrade Usman because he's already 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. But I think Usman's going to win personally because of the Barcelona badge and because of the amount of people that would be interested in that player, I think, over St. Maxman. But I think it's going to be close. And I really hope that EA would like somehow show us a metric. Probably won't get anything like that, but I would love to see a metric. So... First thing I want to talk about is the pricing. How much is Usman or St. Max going to be today? I feel like they'll be around the same price regardless of who wins. Honestly, I'm going to give you a big price range here just because I don't know based on the Franck Ribéry SBC that came out yesterday, how they're going to value this SBC. Either somewhere between 400,000 coins and 800,000 coins is where I feel like this SBC is going to land today. I know that's a big range. I know that's not really helpful for a lot of you guys, but I'm really not sure what to expect because before Franck, Ribéry on Friday, I think the most expensive uh, SBC that we had was either Jovic or Firmino. And that was like 350 to 400,000 coins. Like that was the most expensive summer heat SBC we had had yet. Now we have this Franck Ribéry who is tipping the scales right now on the PlayStation for around 680,000 coins, four different squads. This is the most expensive one. Yes, I know Ribéry has some hype. A lot of people did this. I did this SBC myself today added to the team he's going to be playing weekend league for me but i'm really curious to see since they they value this spc so high if they knew ribery would have a lot of hype and people would still do him if they're also going to value the saint maximin or the usman Dembele that comes out today at a high value as well that's why i give you that big range because they could make it a very cheap spc and that would whoo, that would do wonders to the market if they did that that would go crazy and also they can make it a more expensive spc which would make people think about it but still probably completed because it's July. And we've been waiting so long for a Usman Dembele special card in FIFA Ultimate Team. So somewhere between the 400 and 800k range, is SBC fodder going to rise from where it is at right now? Some of the cards I guess I do like is maybe like the 86s and 87s because I feel like um, today the 84s didn't rise, which I was surprised with because of course of how they valued the Franck Ribery SBC. But I feel like if they're giving 86, 87, and 88 rated squads for an Usman or a St. Maximin, that seems pretty legitimate to me. So maybe some 87s, 88s, 89s that haven't risen yet. Maybe you look into some of those today um, for that SBC. But if you've already got your fodder locked and loaded and it's already up in price, maybe stick with that. Some of this fodder is up, some of it's not. We have a new batch of special cards that is in packs as well. Batch 2 is officially in packs. I'll talk about that a bit today and look at some of those prices. But now we have a whole new range of informs of man of the match cards. There's a lot of man of the matches that are in packs right now. We have a whole new set of those fodder cards that are now in packs that are going to replace some of those SBC fodder cards <clears throat> that have gold versions um, out of packs because they have other versions like maybe team of the group stages or foot birthdays in packs at the moment. So does SBC fodder rise today? If there's any rise, I think it's mostly going to be in like the 86 to 89 or maybe even like up to 91 range. If they would require two 88 rated squads 
for whoever's SBC is coming out today, I do think you might see a bit of a, a boost in the price of those higher rated cards, uh, like we did yesterday with Frank, because he has an 88 rated squad. Um, you know, there was, uh, I think Ter Stegen was who I looked at earlier today. Mark andre Ter Stegen's 90 rated card, um, which I is not in packs right now. This card is not in packs right now. Went from 39K this morning all the way up to 46K. And this card could even pop up more tomorrow because you might need a Barcelona player. You might need some La Liga links, especially for the requirements that could be required for an Usman Dembele SBC. Not saying this is a really like great investment, but maybe a little bit overlooked. So he's not getting supplied in the market right now. He's only up about five, 6,000 coins. Maybe you catch a couple on bid. Um, just the cards like this could pop a little bit tomorrow for like the hour or two after the SBC is released. Maybe you look to see a bit of inflation on some of that stuff um, because of that SBC coming out. Other than that, 84s, again, if we take a look at 84s, these are very low, but is there going to be an 83 or 84 rated squad as a part of any of the SBCs that come out today for Usman or Alan St. Maximin? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. I feel like they're going to be more high profile, especially again after the pricing of the Ribery SBC today. So that's kind of what I expect. What other market movements can you expect today? A lot of cars that I've already started to go down. This tells me, like Headliner Neymar is somebody who I saw a price of today and I was honestly very surprised at how far this guy has dropped today in FIFA Ultimate Team. This guy was 2.7 million coins this morning, almost 2.8. He is dropping by, by the minute, man. This guy's dropping like 50K an hour still. He's 2.36 at the moment and still dropping. He's out of packs, but people I think are selling this car because... They have to fund, they don't have coins, number one, to do the Franck Ribéry SBC. And a lot of people want to do that card because it is meta. Very good upgrade. And it's just an emotional player for a lot of FIFA Ultimate Team users. And also, Usman or St. Maximin's coming today. And they could be, especially if Usman wins, a replacement for a lot of people in regards to like their center attack mid in their team. So like this Neymar could even go down further tomorrow. But prices across the market are down like even cards that are out of packs, right? Like, take a look at my favorite guy, Kenny Lala, right? Uh, this guy has since rebounded a little bit. He was like 520k last night. Today, during the panic selling, when Usman came out, or excuse me, when Ribery came out, he was down to 450k, rebounded back over 500, and now this stuff is kind of starting to simmer back down again, and I think you're going to start to see more sell-off as we get into the 6, period, 6 p.m. time frame across the market. I think this is not just going to happen on, um, you know, like the cards that are in packs that rebounded today, which we'll talk about those for a second. Um, but like all TOTS cards, seriously, if it's a center attack in mid, if it's some sort of card that people have in their squads, it even could be a link investment to a possible another French player that could go up later this week because of the of Usman coming out or because of St. Maximin coming out. But literally, I think almost everything is going to get panic sold today. Um, you have TOTS Neymar. Team of the season, Neymar, 98 rated, is down 500k today. This guy's he was 5.6 mil. He was 5.6 mil this morning. He's down, he's almost five. He, he was 5.1. He's 5.2. Now he's 5.1. This guy's dropping because of Ribery and because I think people need coins uh to do Usman, whoever is coming out today, Usman or St. Maximin. Um, is there gonna be a rebound on some of this really high tier meta stuff? I think there is a little bit. But right now, people are losing a lot of coins because they're selling cards because they want to do these summer heat SBCs and they know a big SBC is coming today. So I would expect market-wide panic and prices dropping again as we head into 6 p.m. UK again today. And when the SBC is released, if it is uh, Usman or St. Max and it is a good boosted card and it's not more than like 700,000 coins, Kind of like the same price as the Franck Ribery SBC. If it's no more than that and the boost is good, I think you're going to see even more panic selling on the market because either of those cards that come out today are just going to have so much hype. You're going to see panic selling on icons that are out of packs. Maybe like a Maradona could go down. A Pelé could go down. Somebody might sell their middle Pelé card that they've had for a while that they've been trying out. This guy's 2.585 right now. They might sell their Pelé card because if Usman comes out tomorrow, he's going to have stats that look just like this or even better. And he's got the five-star weak foot, right? That's the kind of thing that you could see. 
panic selling these icons, I would get kind of interested in that. I know it's the weekend link sell off. So just be very careful with that. Um, cards that are very rare, like these icons that are out of packs do interest me in the fact that they just don't get any more supply. So if you see big undercuts on maybe some of these cards today, be careful with those. But for the rest of that, for the market movements today, a lot of you guys have been asking me about like foot birthday Griezmann, right? Griezmann is now in packs, had some crazy market fluctuations already today, which we'll talk about in a second. But is this guy going to rebound tomorrow? Honestly, I think this is what's going to happen, right? Let's say you have a Barcelona card, even like Shapeshifter Messi. What I think would happen first is, since this is a center attack in mid, same position as what Usman would be, I think this card would drop first and then rebound. After people sell cards to go to the SBC, then they would maybe go buy this card to link to him, or maybe a right wing that is French, or a left wing that is French, or a striker, or a center back, or a CDM that you might link to an Usman or to a St. Maximin. I think people would panic sell those cards first. You'd see panic on the market and then a rebound for the next two to three hours. But then we're also getting into the Saturday night and Sunday time frame where a lot of people are finishing their weekend league. There's not as much demand. So that's what I'd be very, very careful with. And you might see some prices go even lower, especially on a card that is impacts like this Griezmann. You might even see some cards go lower on Sunday. So just be very, very careful with that. If you're trying to mess around with some fluctuations today, um, I'd be very careful with it, honestly. I don't know if I would mess around with it too much, um, but that's kind of what I expect for the market today. I would expect panic at 6 p.m. UK, a lot of sell-off, a slight rebound, not as much as today on Friday from what we saw with the panic to the rebound today, um, but more um, or less of an actual rebound and then prices coming back down on Sunday and then reaching a low Sunday night where we might be able to buy some stuff, especially French links going into later into this next week as uh, people will be rocking their Ribéries. They'll be rocking their either Usman or St. Maximin. And that's going to be very interesting for the market. But again, I want to look at some of these foot birthdays because batch two is out. And that's what I want to transition to talking about next. The stuff that happened on Friday in FIFA Ultimate Team. There was a lot of stuff that happened and there's actually some new information from Footwatch that just came out. And I want to look at this first. It looks like EA is kind of trying to kill fodder and keep its prices at least subdued and lower because they're releasing a new pack. Guarantees a rare gold player rated 85 to 92 and then guarantees two rare gold players 84 or higher. So an 84 plus double. Whoa, what is this? Eight, five? Guarantees five rare gold players rated 88 or higher? Wow, that's actually crazy. I don't even know what you would turn in for that. Five rare gold players rated 88 or higher. 88 or higher, five rare gold players. Do you know that what that's going to look like? That's almost like a foot champions, uh, an elite reward pack. All that, that pack is going to contain tots on tots on tots. Like 88 rated or higher. Yes, you'll have some of these informs and some of these special cards in there. But if it's anything other than 88 plus, you go into the 90s and like... You're getting, look at all these TOTS cards, right? A lot of TOTS cards in your 93s, 94s. That's actually crazy. That is, this pack right here, five rare gold players rated 88 or higher. That is going to really hurt the high rated fodder on this market. And a lot of people are going to want to do that pack. If it is repeatable, even two rare gold players, 84 or higher is going to get interesting. I would really watch the prices of these 82s and 83s. 83s are down about a thousand coins a piece from where they were. If you're on a low budget, some of these 80, 82s, especially if they're out of packs because they have a special card in packs right now, I might get kind of interested in some of that because I don't know what you would even require for an 88, five rare gold players, 88 or higher. That's an absolutely crazy pack. So I might be kind of careful with the high rate of fodder that I have um, in my club. This is interesting. Wow. This is like a way... At the, at the end of the game where you can just delete your entire club. This to me is liquidate your entire club, hit a bunch of these packs. And this is how you end FIFA Ultimate Team right here. These packs, this is going to be the end of some people's clubs. They're going to rinse this into prime icon packs. They're going to rinse this into the Usman, into the um, Ribéry. So EA is really setting us up here. Um, this makes me think they might make Usman a little bit more expensive with higher rated squads to make you try to craft it and like, you know, push all your coins into that. And then you're just out of coins. So then you have to buy FIFA points maybe. Um, this is like rinse your club central right there with that SBC code. So 
If you thought prices dropped today, I think I would expect prices to drop even more on Saturday. Um, that's crazy. That is honestly crazy. I was even thinking about buying some Shapeshifter Ben Yetters, which I'm still interested in, but that pack code right there, I'm going to be really watching the price of this card, man, because there's not very many right wings that are French that are usable in this game. But since that pack code has come out, I think I bought a Yetter today at 390. I don't know how much buying I'm going to do. So I would say if you want to do a club stock on some high rateds before the SBC comes today, go ahead and do that. That's a safe play. But that code's interesting, man. Woo -hoo, that is a very interesting code. I don't know if any of that relates to like the Twitch Prime pack that would be coming out, if we have another one of those coming soon. But that is some market crash material right there. And a lot of prices are going to be dropping because of that. But again, I did not get to the point that I was going to talk about. Batch 2 did come out in packs today. We still have 81 plus packs. If you want to grind some upgrades that are cheap to do, that is absolutely an option for you as well. But I want to show you these price fluctuations because I think I nailed this yesterday in the video. I talked about how in the week prior, or the batch prior, there was a drop and then a rebound on these cards because they were meta. That is exactly what happened today. Griezmann was 420k right before the content drop, went all the way down to 320 or under 320 and went back up to 380 and is now at 370 again. This happened on like all the foot birthdays today. Mbappe was down at like 48. He's back up at 5 mil. Um, this St. Maximin was at 840. He went down to 740, went back up to 870. Now he's back down to 800K. It happened on all the usable foot birthdays today. Probably happened on some of the team, the group stage cards as well. Uh, but the cards that they did put back into packs was basically everything we expected, except they put team of the year nominees in packs and they didn't put like secondary league team of the seasons. I was hoping to have these tots cards back in packs, but they didn't, which is unfortunate. Um, so I'm guessing those are going to come back during batch number three, which I think is going to be in like, what did they say this batch is out for two weeks as well? Yeah, basically two, if, uh, two weeks, exactly two weeks. Exactly. We've got road to the finals, FFS cards, foot birthdays, team of the year nominee and team of the group stage cards in packs for the next two weeks with batch two re-release. So no tots cards yet again. Um, but again, a lot of informs and man of the match cards that are coming as well. Speaking of new things that were added to the game, uh, there were some new Man of the Match items that I think they added from over the weekend. Harry Maguire, 87, Tierney, Willian, and Sterling all got Man of the Match items. Not that they're really relevant, but that's just something that did happen. And Phil Foden got his SBC upgrade to a 95 rated card. Flippin hasn't upgraded it yet, but I can show you the card in FIFA if you do want to see it. The upgrade on this card was... Uh, it was okay. I don't think the upgrade was as good on Phil Foden as it was on Diaby, in my honest opinion. If we take a look at some of these, Phil Foden's 95 rated card. He got a plus three shooting, plus three pa um, passing, plus three pace, plus three defending, and then plus four defense and physical. I think we all would have wanted to see Fabinho win, but still, there's your upgraded Phil Foden card if that had any interest to you. And then the objective cards. I need to talk about these really quick as well. Very grindable, very easy. You don't need a lot of wins. You don't have to spend a lot of time for Mbabu or for Pope. This card is five-star skills. So again, these fan-favorite SBCs are like a re-release with better stats uh, of a popular card from earlier in the year with the Pope for birthday SBC and the Mbabu uh, road to the final item is what they're basing this card off of. Pretty nice stats on this card. So like Hakimi dropped a bunch today because that was a Bundesliga right back because of now there's an, a grindable objective player that is out there. And so that kind of caused his price to go down as well. But again, this looks like it's going to get pretty serious for the market. I think a lot of prices are going to continue to drop. The rebounds are going to be short. They're going to be really quick and they're going to be far between. Honestly, it's going to have to be a really meta and a really rare card. If it's going to rebound today, um, icons are something that I could see being profitable later in the week. Next week, we'll look into some of these prices on maybe Sunday night, I'm just going to wait and see what happens tomorrow. I'm probably not going to spend a lot of my coins. I'm going to stay pretty liquid. Um, I don't have too much going on on my transfer list at the moment. I've got some Ben Yetters and then some, I think I have some Moutinho's and a couple other shapeshifter cards, but really I don't have much going on. Um, I'm going to put more coins into upgrades this week, see how the upgrade packs are, see if I can pack some foot birthdays. Uh, that'll be pretty fun. And then we'll see what happens this week for the rest of the content because uh, it's looking really interesting right now with what all they're going to put out. Last thing that I'll leave you with is my rigged pack luck. 
because I did open my engagement reward pack today, the 125k pack. And what a freaking pack this was. Ter Stegen in moments, Yaris Guerrero, Varon Henderson, uh, five special cards to just start off the pack right there with two 90s, 287s. That was awesome. That These cards right there literally um, were very key in me completing the first squad, the 88 rated squad of uh, Ribery. So that was a W from that today. We did get that engagement award pack uh, coming out today in FIFA as well. So it's going to be a busy Saturday on the market, boys. And I think you're going to see a lot of prices dropping. So if you've got cards and you want to take the coins on them, you've got my blessing to do so because I think they're going to continue to drop some more. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.